check out all my books on audible.com. Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, well, a very important doctor with a very, very prominent position and a very big job at the American uh, Diabetes Association. In fact, he's the, he's the chief, uh, let me get this right, chief scientific and medical officer at the American Diabetes Association. He's a very nice guy. And just don't ask him any questions about diet because then he'll get up and storm out of the interview. And that's what he does here. Check this out. So here is the best example on the planet you're ever going to see about how doctors think. They are the smartest people in the world and they know everything and they're looking for the cures for every disease including cancer and diabetes as you're about to see and they know everything and don't you ask them questions about things that are irrelevant and don't you ask them questions about things they don't want to talk about, okay? All right, so this this is this whole thing is is an interview with this guy Dr. Dr. Robert Ratner and uh, he's the head of the um, as I said he, he worked at the uh, American Diabetes Association I don't know if he's still there it doesn't matter but you just watch this interview this comes out of a movie out of a, of a documentary called what the health what the health and this is a great documentary it's got people in it that I have actually kinda of gone after for other reasons including this guy Dr. Greger and he's really good in this when somebody does something good I say it when somebody says something I don't like I go after him you know so he went after Carl and Spirulina I went after him and he doesn't know what he's talking about but in this one he's, he's he really promotes a vegan diet and so does everybody else in, the, in this documentary and they're showing you without any doubt uh, that the, the the vegan diet is so much more healthy and can cure diabetes. It's excellent. What the health? I think you get it on YouTube. I, saw, I think I saw it on Netflix. But watch that. But this interview here, this guy goes in to interview somebody, the spokesman for, you know, the American Diabetes Association. So let's check this part out. Well, the mission of the American Diabetes Association is to identify a prevention and a cure for diabetes, but in the meantime, to improve the lives of all people who are affected by diabetes. All right, my first quick point is uh, they're looking for a cure. I want to I want to be clear about something. Medical science has found the cure to nothing, not one disease. Period, not one. They talk about vaccinations like smallpox has been eradicated from the earth. Okay, that, that you know that's an infectious disease. Let's talk about you know. You know, heart disease, if you want to call it, even cancer, you know, fibromyalgia, you know, diabetes, high blood pressure. They cure nothing. They de deal with the symptoms. So, he, and he wants to improve the lives of others. Okay, well, maybe, maybe you could, they could improve it with a diet. Well, you, you're going to see in this interview, he's having none of that. And uh, what's the best way to prevent, to prevent this? For type two diabetes, it's unclear. We can't prevent type 2 diabetes in everybody. So this is the mindset. Listen very carefully here. We can't prevent type 2 diabetes in all people. We can in some. Really? Who did you prevent it in? I mean, you can't, with, with what these guys want to do with all their medications, they don't want you to change your diet, as you're going to see here in this interview. So how do you prevent? We can't do it in all of them. You can't do it in any of them. And prevent it. You, you get it? All disease comes from your diet. Don't tell it to this guy. Don't tell it to Ratner. Ratner here has got his mind made up. I'm a very open-minded person. Honestly, if you came up with a cure, a pill, and it cured diabetes, um, guys like this would be out of job tomorrow, but that's beside the point. I'd say, well, you got me on that one. You found a cure, okay, uh, you know, but not this, no, and he doesn't want to hear anything else, so he, you can't prevent all of them, and that, so this is, this is the line, this is the mindset, you know, this is, this is the official line from the American Diabetes Association. How does it so, compare to the ADA diet that you recommend? We don't recommend a specific diet. We recommend, we recommend healthy eating. The one that's on the website. The we recommend healthy eating. There is not sufficient evidence. Let me tell you something. You could bring, you know, 500 people into a room, into an auditorium, and every one of them could say, I have diabetes, I had it, and I changed my diet, and it's gone. And he's not listening. There's not sufficient evidence. You know, a friend of mine, Janice, I, she won't mind me mentioning her name, Janice Welsh, 
Uh, she went on a raw food diet. She she says, I, you got diabetes. Here's the medication. Here you go. She panicked. She says, I got to do something else. I never heard. I'm going to try a raw food diet. She reversed the whole thing in three days. Three days. She went back to the doctors two weeks later. Everything is fine. I don't know what you've been doing. Keep doing it or whatever. The doctor didn't know what to say. But these guys, they don't they don't want to see anything. Talk about blinders. There is. Do you, have a whole, uh, you have a whole list of exact day-to-day, -day, the meal plan, the whole meal plan? All they are are selections of foods to consider. We do not have a di diabetes diet. But with selections of foods to consider. Did you just randomly go out and find recipe pizza and put them on your website? I mean, what do you mean there's selections of foods that consider? Why would you consider those? I mean, are, are they diabetic friendly? Apparently, no. Uh, you know, selections of foods to consider. Wow. You know, if, he's, if he hasn't gotten into politics, this guy, he should seriously consider, consider it. Seriously. Because it's the double speak here that comes out of his mouth. And it moves. He, his mouth moves very, very quickly. And he says nothing. But with, no. with that, selections that you consider that, that plan compared to an all plant-based plan. No one's done that study. No one's done that study. This guy, like every other doctor like him, they live and die by the studies. The study, the study, the study, the study. Oh, if you don't have a study, it doesn't exist. I got 50 people that were cured over here by changing their diet. Was there a study? Can you show me that study? No, some pharmaceutical didn't spend $250,000 because it wasn't going to make them any money. So no, there's no study. Then they're, they're, it can't be true. They live and die by the study. And what is that thing? You know, you live by the sword, die by the sword. Live by the study, die by the study. We found actually some studies. That a 74-week study found that low-fat vegan diet versus the ADA plan. In type two I think we're done here. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into an argument about. Oh no! I just wanted the studies of uh, the studies of the, if, if if this is true or if it shows that. If any diet works, any diet works if people follow it. What in the hell does that mean? Any diet works if you follow it. I mean, I you know this is just. Sheer stupidity. I mean, my, and this is the top guy. This is their medical scientist. I mean, give me a break here. Any diet works if it's followed. <laughs> really? How about a McDonald's diet? Would that work? I, I know people that follow that diet. I really do. I know. They just, they're constantly at McDonald's. And if it isn't there, well, you know, they, Taco Bell's Tuesday, you know, they follow that diet really well and they constantly have health issues. But, as you see, what you, any diet works if you follow it. What an amazing st statement of, of, of absolute sheer nonsense. But if it's a diet that's not the proper diet, like if anyone follows a diet that they eat I can't. Animals. I can't tell you what a proper diet is. I can tell you what an improper diet is. So, are you, are you really, well, here we go again. Are you kidding me? I can't tell you what a proper diet is. No, of course not. You're a medical doctor. You're a meat and potatoes man like everybody else. And you think nothing, diet has nothing to do with anything. Nope, that's it. Don't even have. And you can, so you can tell me an improper diet is? Well, what is that? What, what's your improper diet? Is it McDonald's? You could at least say that. You should stay away from junk food. Or, no, I can't tell you what a proper diet is. Uh, listen, I can tell you what it is. I can tell you a proper diet and I can tell you an improper diet. And, you know, just through pro process of elimination, I think if you kind of say, this is improper, proper, improper, 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 we'd end up with what proper is. This guy is just a buffoon. And he's the chief medical officer there at, and science officer. So then we can talk about the good diets. I'm not sure why. I'm, I'm not going to get into that. It's a diet? No. Why, if, why if, if, that's, if that's where you want to go with this, I'm sorry, I'm not the person that you should be talking to. Well, never truer words said anywhere, anytime, by any doctor ever. Yeah, you got, you got it. That's the guy, if you want to talk about health, that's the guy you don't want to talk to. Those are the people you don't want to follow. These are, don't follow the doctors. And look at this guy. I mean, he's got his hand on that cup. I, I'm out of here, pal. 
I, you know, this is, if this is where you want to go with this, go where? He's asking you about diet. You can't even relax and answer the questions. You know, huffy here, and how dare you? Because, you know, so many of these doctors are incredibly high-minded, condescending, arrogant people who just think they really have all the answers when really they have none of the answers. None of them. Do they? <laughs> Do they? But here's this guy. He, he, he just, yeah, I don't even want, won't even discuss diet. And why is that, though? If that's what you want to get into, I'm not the person you need to be diet? talking to. Who do we talk to about diet? You can talk to anybody you want. Can I talk to anybody I want? <laughs> Maybe somebody like at the American Diabetes Association, I think it was what he was saying. Not just, I know he can go, he knows he can go out into the street and start talking to anybody, but apparently the American Diabetic Association, now he ain't talking to anybody here about diet. No, That's no. That's interesting though, why not recommend a diet? Because the study? data don't exist to support But if I see, we see data that we looked up, that supports it with like, you know, the NIH, the, uh, in Europe, the European, European We're done. Okay, hey, don't mention the NIH and the European anything with this guy. Don't mention European. Uh, most of these doctors, I had Mercola on the other day, you know, the European studies, you know, I mean, that sounded like the best studies that had ever been done. And this guy, at the mention of European studies, I mean, he just bolts. That's it. I, I just, I'm just, shocked to see this guy who has no clue what health is no none at all and we're going to get to the money here in a second because that's what this is all about that's what the, all these all these organizations every one of them i don't care if they if they really know they're not ever going to find a cure and they just or they think they're going to find it i don't care either way whether they're honest, whether they're completely dishonest, they ain't never going to find it. It's a complete waste of time and money. But that's beside the point. Don't you mention anything. You know, you mentioned diet. It gets up and storms out of an interview. We're done. I'm sorry. I'm not going to get uh, no, into that wondering, argument with but you. I, no, the European Association of Study of Diabetes. Has, I, I could show it to you. I'm sorry. I don't have the time for that. I, you know, I, I have never seen anybody storm out of an interview. <laughs> like that you see it from like you know somebody went after like uh, Robert Downey Jr. and he's he's in there talking about a movie and and somebody started asking about his drug use you know and it got arrested and he got mad I, I don't blame him I'd have walked out too. you see these people uh, they got it brought in one of these chefs and and it was just a you know gotcha a hit hit piece and they said look at this burnt steak here forget which one it was and and uh and he stormed out of the interview. I don't blame him, you know, but this guy here, you start asking him about studies or about diet or anything else. I mean, he picks up his, he takes off the mic, he gets that water, he gets his phone, and he's out of there. Look at Buddy. I mean, I, I think, you know, if he, if he was a younger man and the, maybe the camera wasn't rolling, he'd beat the crap out of this guy. Rat man. What are you talking about, man? Just, just relax. Get him, Rack. Did you come? What was that? Just your boyfriend? No, he's not my boyfriend. Seriously, if he could have. I mean, just the, 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 the anger and the condescension of this guy storming out of an interview. And you can't, again, can't we even discuss it? I'm not going to get into an argument. No, you, you, don't, you don't challenge a doctor. Don't you challenge any medical doctor, okay? I mean, they got egos like this, these people. And this guy's getting not, no ex, uh, uh, exception whatsoever. Big, big egos running around uh, like the rock stars of the health world. And they, they got nothing. They do nothing. They attend conferences. And I'm, I'm going to show you that in another video, how they attend these conferences. And they, they rub each other's backs. And you know, they rub each other's egos. And you know we did this. And we presented that. And this study and this study. The studies, the studies, the studies. And you know what? Now it turns out, according to this guy... Some of those studies are wrong. Oh, well, how can... Well, great. <laughs> so some of them are wrong. You live by the studies. As I said, you die by the studies. What he wanted to talk about was people living longer with diabetes. But once you mention eliminating diabetes or prevention, oh, whoa, now you cross the line. Prevention and cure, whoa. Well, you know, the guy's right there at the end. You know, he, he's interesting. It's not, it's not interesting. We should have been expected, but... but Ratner himself said, we're looking for a cure. So, I mean, guy walks in, he says, you know what, I, maybe we got a cure in diet, or we could change it. No. 
and then he starts referring to all the 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 uh, meal plans that are on their website, and suddenly they they're not they're not relevant. They're just options. Options for what? Are you telling people to eat these foods, or you, you have you got just some kind of cooking site? I mean, we can go to f the Food Network if we want, you know, recipes. I mean, there's a thousand websites out there, and all sorts of books. I mean, it's the most common book on the market is 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 cooking, and cook cooking, and then the next one, of course, is weight loss. What a shock! You, you got all this right in front of you. He said, "We're looking for a cure." This guy did it, and. Uh, I mean, he storms out of the interview. You shouldn't be surprised. This is the way they th think. And I I don't know if the guy in this movie, whatever his name is, with the hat, the interviewer, really knew he, what he was in for. But, you know, th this is the brick wall. This is the brick wall. And you're going to hit it every time when you come up against this big, big money that's going into these 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 foundations and the American Cancer Society and the American Diabetes Association and the you know the Alzheimer's fund foundation all these all the every disease has got something you know they had they had they had the bucket challenge a while ago I, I was at ALS or something whatever or COPD or whatever it was and you pour a bucket of ice water it, it, then it turns out that like 92 percent of that money goes to administration and eight percent of the money goes to research wow and and they got people to pour buckets of ice water over the head they had george bush former president bush doing it you know just just you know they got useful idiots that's what they are and they found them okay last but not least if you really want to see what this is about and you want, want to really see what's going on here let's take a quick look a little tour of the um, the American Diabetes Association's website and you're gonna see what this is all about but let's look at their website here so you pull it up and what do you get hey donate today it's the first thing you see and then you go to the donation page and they got suggestions of 250 or more and here's all the ha here's you go walk and they got runs and all the happy people and the ca corporate sponsors and it's money and it's more money and they're so happy now that they did this and here's some of their meal plans and their things. Look at the garbage. I'm. This is just. They have hundreds and hundreds of meals. Oh, we don't have these are. So these are options or suggestions. Why do you have them on your website if you don't promote these? So here it is. Hundreds, seven, eight hundred recipes on this website. But they don't. They don't. They're just options. Why would you put them on your website if you're not suggesting to diabetics this is how you want to eat? I mean, this is insane. What do you, again, what do you have? The Food Network here? You gotta be some reason for you put these on here. And you go to their homepage. Well, we got the Indian curry now. Look at this, a new cookbook. They're selling stuff. This is about one thing. Money. Money, 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 money. Every one of these organizations. That's why, you know, I always listen to these fundraisers. You know, Rush Limbaugh does this thing, I think, every year or so, and he, he, he's promoting some kind of cancer cure or something, and he's been doing... They, You know, we, we had uh, Jerry Lewis, the telethon. He was the one who invented that whole thing. He, he, what was he? I forget what he was raising money for. Guess what? There's no cure. After all the millions and millions and millions of dollars, how about the billions that the American Cancer Society has raised? Are we any cures, closer to cure? All they can tell you is, well, people are living longer. They're living, you know, are they li really living healthier? Or, and again, have we found a cure for anything? No, they justify their existence by chasing after something that's never going to be found. Never, ever going to be found. And it's, it's really sad to, pe for, to see people, you know, be so hopeful about it. I've listened to The Cure for Cancer is around the corner my entire life. I am not joking. I'm 60 years old. So that means for 50 of those years, probably around 10 is the first time I heard that the cure for cancer is around the corner. And they constantly say this. That's some corner. It's a corner that just never seems to be, you turn that corner and you keep going and there's more corners. How about that? You go around in a circle. The, 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 this is what it's all about. It's about the money. This guy Ratner is just, he's the poster boy for what is wrong with the medical establishment. And why, quite frankly, if you want to be healthy, stay the hell away from it. This is what you get. This is this tells you everything that you need to know here. 
All right, so the name of the the name of the um, it's uh, the the documentary is What the Health. Check it out. I loved it. I'm going to be doing more videos about that. Um, they don't promote a raw food diet, and we'll talk about that at, when that comes. But they're definitely into veganism, and I loved it. It was a fantastic documentary, Dr. Bob McCauley. See you guys next time. Well, if you'd like to make a donation to the Watershed Wellness Center, no donations here, folks. Just health. You want to do something that's really useful? Take this video and share it. Send it to others and let them see what this is all about. Why don't you just cool it, man? Hey, asshole! Look, logger!